The pectoralis is a muscle that's a big muscle that's on the chest and it inserts on the upper arm. This muscle tendon unit, its primarily importance is to bring the arm across what we call adduction and to rotate internally the arm. Now sometimes this structure can tear and interestingly it's exclusively seen in men and typically someone who's doing bodybuilding like bench pressing, that's the most common time that we'll see it. It'll be just too much weight and then this structure will tear. Patients with this injury of the pectoralis will come to the office and typically they'll report an injury such as bench pressing and very often they will have some swelling and there will actually be some black and blue, what we call ecchymosis, coming down the arm. That can be a telltale sign. The other thing, they will have some weakness in the arm. And then finally, there'll actually be a defect that we can notice and see of this pectoralis. On physical exam, one of the deformities we can see is that on the injured side, where the pectoralis is torn, the nipple will drop and droop a little bit lower than the normal side. The normal contour of the pectoralis muscle tendon is a convex form, and you can see that here on the patient's good side with those little red arrows showing a convexity. On the injured side where the pectoralis is torn, you can see the concave deformity with these red arrows, and you can see compared from one side to the other how this side is concave, showing us the deformity. The pectoralis is made up of the muscle, which turns into the tendon, which attaches to the bone. The pectoralis can tear at different locations. Sometimes there can be a tear in the muscle itself. Sometimes the pectoralis will tear at the muscle tendon junction. And most commonly, it's the tendon that tears off of the bone. MRI is a very useful diagnostic test which enables us to see where in the pectoralis the tear has occurred and this directs our treatment. This MRI reveals a pectoralis tear and the red stars are outlining the muscle belly of the pectoralis. The yellow stars indicate the gap between the muscle belly and the tendinous portion that's still attached to the bone. And these red stars are showing the tendinous portion of the pectoralis that's still attached to the bone. And this red circle is showing you the cross-section of the bone. So this is a patient that had a pectoralis tear that occurred at the muscle tendon junction. Depending where the tear occurs in the pectoralis can sometimes dictate what kind of treatment we're going to perform. So if the tear occurs in the muscle itself, we typically treat that non-operatively with physical therapy, anti-inflammatories, as long as there's no medical issues with them taking an anti-inflammatory, ice, and modifying activity. And very often that will work. It will take a few months, uh, but that's usually the treatment plan. If there's a tear between the muscle and the tendon, we typically will also follow a non-operative approach as we just outlined. Now, if the tear occurs where the tendon attaches to the bone, which is the most common injury, those we will fix surgically. This is an image depicting a pectoralis tear that occurred at the tendon bone junction. This image reveals how we often will repair the pectoralis by placing sutures in the tendon, making a trough in the bone, allowing the tendon to go into the bone and fixing it with metal buttons. If you would like to make an appointment to see me as a patient, then please click up here. If you'd like to watch a video about rotated cuff tears in the shoulder, then click down here. And if you'd like to subscribe to our YouTube channel to watch other interesting videos about orthopedics, please click on this icon over here.